iLink is about as street as you can get. You borrow a set of earphones and a finger ring, and with just a little squeeze, inexplicably link them together. You can even link the finger ring and the earphones in full view, and a moment later, magically separate them and hand everything back out to be examined. My favorite part of iLink is when the effect's done and they hand them back their earphones. They just can't believe it. I think there's a whole bunch of things that make iLink so effective. It's just so street and casual. I mean, people know about card tricks, they know about coin tricks, this kind of stuff. But when you do something with a borrowed item, an item that they carry around, they've got in their purse, they got in their school bag, and you know, it's something they're really familiar with that they sort of second nature to them. When you borrow that, do something frankly pretty f***ed up with it, and then hand them back, it's always very strong. Performing real magic with earphones is pretty much a whole new category in magic but I've been exploring it for a couple of years and I've created a bunch of different effects. I put them all on the DVD and I think you're gonna really like the collection. When I first created the cool gimmick, I thought the materials for the gimmick would be pretty easy to find, but I checked a bunch of hardware stores all over the place and couldn't find the materials. I ended up having to order the materials from an overseas supplier and I was so relieved when the first batch arrived and I thought, thank goodness, at least I'll be able to share this with magicians all over the world. Most people have seen the classic magician's trick, the, the linking rings, but they just can't get over the fact that you can do the exact same impossible trick with their own earphones.